Hello everyone and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In this video I'm going to explain all the sensing and operators blocks on Scratch in 7 minutes. If you haven't watched the other videos of the 7 minute series I highly recommend doing so as some of the stuff today can be a bit tricky and subscribe if you haven't already. As you can see our goals on the about section of the channel. Let's get started. Ok 3, 2, one, let's go. So we're going to start with this block and it is ask what's your name. Look at the top right corner of the screen. The sprite is asking a question and if I type in SCC for scratch coding class, then if we go to the next block which is the answer block, which is here, this is the answer to the question. So it's scratch coding class and you can change the answer by asking another question and all the user has to do is input another answer. The next block is key space pressed and this is if any key here on the keyboard is pressed. So you can use this with your knowledge of control blocks. So if key space is pressed then it could maybe jump this right. And if the up arrow it could move forward, something like that. The next thing is mouse down. And this is basically if you're holding down the mouse. The next thing is mouse X and mouse Y. And it's the X coordinates and the Y coordinates of the mouse. Remember X is left to right. Y is up and down. So right now I'm going to demonstrate if the Y is minus 180, if I go a bit higher it's 61. So there you go. The next block is set drag ball to drag a ball. This means you can drag the sprite about with your mouse. So look at the screen, I am moving the mouse, I can move it like that. But however, if I set it to not drag a ball, we're going to try that. I can't drag the mouse with the sprite. So that's good if you don't want the user to be moving the sprite. So the next thing is loudness and this is basically how loud it is so I'm going to stop speaking for a few seconds. Wait, you looked at the loudness you realise it was 1 because 1 is the smallest loudness that means there is no volume if I'm speaking then the loudness increases. So the next thing is timer and this has been going on in every script you do because in every script if you press the green flag the timer goes back to zero and you can reset the timer here zero manually and the timer just keeps ticking up so it goes one second two seconds three seconds so it, right now six seconds since the last press the green flag and i'm just gonna leave it ticking away the next thing is backdrop number of stage you can change it to backdrop name and you window those two blocks if you watch the looks seven minutes so watch that if you don't understand what i'm talking about the next thing is volume and this is basically how loud it is and my variable which we haven't learned yet but it's basically a data type we will get into it in the next seven minutes video because that is the next section after operators right current year is 2020 at the time of this recording you can change it to month which is december and then you've got date day of week or minute second but i'm not going to go over all of that because I can't do that in 7 minutes. The next thing is day since 2000. It's been 7,667.5 days since 2000 of this recording. And the next thing is username. You can't really do this in offline scratch but in online scratch each creator has their own username and one creator can check who has been using their script. For, for example, say I use someone's script then they know scratch coding class used it with that block right the next thing is operators this adds two values this subtracts two values and this one multiplies two values and this one divides two values this block is random block it can just basically pick a random number between two values so if i can actually get that block here i'm gonna do eight to ten it goes ten eight nine so it's just pick a random numbers the next thing is these blocks and this is greater than, this is less than and this is equal to and then this block is and so if two values are true this one if one value is true and not if no values are true. Right the next block is join apple banana and letter one of apple length of apple and apple contains an a. So basically joining two strings together, string is a data type that's letters and mixed numbers and all that so apple banana, apple plus banana is apple banana. Then you got letter one of apple which is the first letter of apple which is an A. And then the length of apple is how many characters are in the word so there's five letters in apple. And then finally apple contains A. True, yes there is an A in apple. So 
This one is modulin. Mood is short for modulin. And that basically is the remainder when you divide two values. So I'm going to do 9 divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. There's no remainder at the end of it. If I do 10 divided by 3, the mod, you know, would be 1. And then you can use that only for division. You can't use it for other things. So the next thing we're going to do is this round block. It just basically rounds a number to a whole number. So 6. So if it's 0.5 or higher, it's obviously going to round it up. If it's 0.4 or lower, it's going to round it down. So this next block is a mathematical block. It can perform mathematical functions, like all these ones here. And if we have time at the end of this video, I will go over some of them. But we need to go over these four blocks. Touching blocks. This is basically if the sprite is touching the mouse pointer, which right now it is. And you can obviously change it to the edge, or you can actually change it to other sprites. The next thing is touching colour, and it's basically if the sprite is touching the colour. You can adjust your colour, say I wanted that colour there, orange. You just have to use that, you zoom into the sprite, and there's your colour. There's saturation, brightness, and colour, you can adjust that. I may go over that in a future video. The next thing is colour is touching colour, so that means if... This colour is touching that colour. So, so for example, the sprite is orange. If it's touching a white, if colour orange is touching the colour white, then that's going to be true. The next thing is distance to mouse pointer, and it is basically the distance from the sprite to the mouse pointer, which right now is very far. And it's obviously the distance in the x and y axis, it's that sort of measurement. Right, we have some time. We have literally 20 seconds. I'll go over some of these maths blocks. So, square root, 6 squared is 36. 36 square root is 6. So, it's basically what you square to get a value. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse in a right angle triangle. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent is basically you're finding what you sine, cosine, or tangent to get a value. And we are out of time. There we go. So, I enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a like on the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. And check out all my other videos and this other 7 minute series if you haven't already watched it. I'll put the link in the description. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another coding video. Bye for now.